Okay, so today's video is a little bit different from my previous videos and I'm sure you will definitely find it helpful. So today I'll be telling you that how you can flash custom recoveries and rooms on any device without facing any problems. So if you are a complete beginner, this video is gonna be really special because I'll be discussing flashing methods for every type of device so that you can find and flash recoveries without any problem and yes, I'll also discuss both with and without PC methods so anyways let's get the video started and let me tell you that don't skip any part because the steps I'll be telling you are very very important and they must not be ignored so keep that in mind. So for step 1 the bootloader of your device must be unlocked I mean it's mandatory if you want to flash custom recovery and I'm targeting Xiaomi devices primarily as most of the custom room users are from the Xiaomi community so for bootloader unlocking it was very easy back then in MIUI but after the HyperOS launch things have changed a lot. But don't worry I'll recommend two videos to unlock your bootloader in the description for both MIUI and HyperOS and by the way if you have any other brands like Samsung, Realme, Motorola, OnePlus and nothing then yes you can also unlock your bootloader and you will get a lot of videos about it on YouTube so make sure to check them out. Now for the step 2, once the bootloader of your device has been unlocked, you will need to check the type of kernel your device has because as per the kernel we can determine the flashing commands and this is a really important part which should not be skipped. So there are 3 types of kernels, firstly we got the non-GKI or the pre-GKI kernels that had recovery partitions and devices like this Redmi Note 9 Pro and other old phones before 2021 had it. So the commands these devices use is the fast boot, flash, recovery, recovery image and by the way these devices had no vendor boot partitions. But there's also an exception that lies with some devices based on this kernel like they store recovery in boot partitions rather than the recovery partition so yes this can be an exception for some devices. Now next we got the GKI or the generic kernel image that was introduced in 2022 for a lot of Qualcomm based processors including my POCO X4 Pro Snapdragon 695. So for the generic kernel image based kernels we don't have any specific recovery partition. So we stored the recovery in boot or vendor boot image like if you watch my videos then you will know that the flashing instruction for recovery on POCO X4 Pro is fast boot flash vendor boot vendor boot image and previously we used fast boot flash boot boot image because the recovery partition by default is boot but later it was modified to vendor boot by the developers of the POCO X4 Pro community. Anyways now we got the latest Google GKI or the Google kernel image and by the way this is different from the previous one cause it was generic kernel image and this one is Google kernel image. So most of the latest phones like my POCO F6, if you don't know I record my videos with my POCO F6 and if you want review on it comment down. So yes the Google kernel image based processors has vendor boot and recovery partition but the recovery is stored within the recovery partition like the old non GKI kernels but you also get the vendor boot partitions like the generic kernel image. Now for the flashing commands so flashing the recovery is fast boot flash recovery recovery image which is same as the traditional GKI kernels but the latest Google kernel image has vendor boot partition which was missing in it and by the way the Google GKI also happens to have an exception for some devices based on this kernel that stored the recovery in vendor boot partition rather than the recovery. So yes this can be an exception for some devices. So I know if you are a beginner you might not have a knowledge regarding all this but just in case you should know these things mainly the commands I told you before getting into the stuffs and by the way let me tell you that you cannot flash the same recovery file for different devices it must be built as per your specific device and I'll also post the difference chart for all the kernels and flashing commands link in the description so it will be more easy for you to understand the differences. And if you want to know the kernel type for your phone yourself then you can just simply ask chat GPT regarding it and it's the simplest way I'd recommend you. Like let me show you how it works. For example if I want to know the kernel type and recovery partition for the Google Pixel 6 it tells me that it's got a generic kernel image based kernel which doesn't have any specific recovery partition and yes it uses the boot partition to flash and store recovery. So it's really easy to get the recovery partition and kernel type information for your device. And I know that you must be thinking that how can I find and flash the recovery files like TWRP and OrangeBox for my specific device. So before I used XDA or sites like unofficial TWRP for finding recoveries for devices but they are not frequently updated. 
So the best way to find the recovery for your device is none other than using Telegram. Like you get community groups for every device which have development for custom rooms and TWRP. So yeah, it's the best way to get the recovery. Like for example, if I need recovery for Redmi Note 11, I can just simply search Redmi Note 11 and as you can see i have found one group for it and if you check the updates channel and search twrp as you can see you get multiple posts regarding orange fox and twrp recoveries that are released in the community and other than that you can also talk with the community members to get the recovery files and yes this is the best way to get updated recovery files rather than using xda or miscellaneous websites now for the flashing tutorial, so firstly I'll start with PC and by the way as I already told you that the flashing instruction differ for every other device as per their SOC and kernel so keep that in mind. By the way while I was making this video I thought that I have 3 types of devices with 3 different kernels so why shouldn't I cover all the 3 for your better understanding. So if you are enjoying this video then make a sub right now it helps me a lot to keep myself motivated. So yes, I'll start with my POCO X4 Pro which has the generic kernel image. So firstly we need to enable USB debugging on our phone from the developer options and this should be enabled for all the types of devices. Then we need to connect our phone with the PC. Now when we move on to our PC you will need to download these two files the ADB setup and the platform tools. So I'll be giving the links for all those files in the description so don't worry about it. Now firstly you will need to install the ADB setup like the way I'm showing. And once it's installed you need to extract this platform to zip. Now after it's extracted you will need to open the folder double click on this command line and then type cmd and after you press enter it opens the command prompt for the specific directory now we will check the adb status of our device using this command adb devices and on pressing enter as you can see the status of the phone now you need to bring your phone into the fast boot mode using this command adb reboot boot loader and after pressing enter the phone boots into the fast boot mode. Now as I got the generic kernel image based kernel so I'll need to flash the recovery in boot partition and I know that you must be thinking that I told vendor boot a while ago but today I checked again that it's been re-modified to boot partition. Now I'll flash the recovery using this command fast boot flash boot and then leaving a space I'll drag the twrp image file on this command prompt. And after I press enter, it starts flashing. Now we need to write another command fastboot reboot recovery which will reboot our phone into the TWRP recovery mode. And yes, it has finally booted into the TWRP recovery. Now for my second device which is the Redmi Note 9 Pro as it's got the non-GKI or the pre-GKI kernel, I'll need to flash the TWRP in the recovery partition. And after searching recovery files in the community channel, I found this orange fox recovery. So let's try flashing it. So firstly, let me just connect this phone to my PC and bring it into fast boot mode. Now we will need to flash the recovery on our Redmi Note 9 Pro using this command fast boot flash recovery then leaving a space drag the recovery file on this command prompt and now when we will press enter it will start flashing and once it has flashed we will reboot into the recovery the same way as we did earlier and as expected it has booted into the orange fox recovery successfully and by the way if you are enjoying this video please make a sub i put a lot of effort on this type of content so sub will really help me grow my channel now for this poco f6 as we got the google gki so we need to flash the recovery on our recovery partition so i found this twrp file on their community group and let's try flashing it now after we have downloaded the recovery zip, we will need to extract the recovery image from the zip file to flash it later on. Now let me just connect the phone with my PC and let's bring it into fast boot mode. Now the flashing command for the Google GKI kernel based devices or this F6 is fast boot flash recovery then leaving a space drag the recovery file in this command prompt. 
and now we will press enter and as you can see it has started flashing. Now we will reboot the phone into the recovery mode as the same way we did earlier and yes it has also booted into the orange fox recovery. So this was the method using PC and now let me show you that how you can flash recovery without PC and this time I'll be covering only a single device cause the video is gonna get too long and for the commands it will remain same as the previous one. Now you will need an OTG, a USB cable and another phone with the recovery file in it for this procedure. Now firstly you will need to connect this device with your another phone via OTG and USB cable. And now on the other phone simply install this app called the Bug Jagger from Play Store. And now when you open it and click on this flashing tab, as you can see you get a bunch of options right here. So firstly keeping the device connected, you will need to click this option called the reboot bootloader and when you click on it, the phone starts rebooting into the fast boot mode. And one thing I liked about this app is you get a lot of options by default to boot your device in recovery, fast boot, EDL. Now our device has finally booted into the fast boot mode and now you will need to click on this option and then I'll simply write the command fast boot flash boot. And then leaving a space click on this attach option to select the file and then I'll select the TWRP file for my X4 Pro and then I'll press enter and as you can see it will start flashing the file. And let me remind you again that this command only applies for devices with GKI kernels. Anyways, now after it's flashed, use the same command fastboot reboot recovery to reboot your phone into the TWRP recovery. Now once again it has booted successfully and now we will move into the final step of flashing the ROM. Now as you can see that the internal storage data is being displayed here and if you want to check the SD card files click on this tab and it will show you the SD card files. Now I'll flash this room via my OTG pen drive so let me just connect it. And now when I click on this option called the USB OTG1 as you can see it displays all the files in our pen drive. So I'll be flashing the lineage OS for this video and for flashing this or any ROM you just simply need to tap on the file. I mean tap on the ROM file and then swipe to begin the process. And by the way it's same for the orange fox or pitch black recovery project. So let's wait for it to complete. A few inches later. Now after the ROM has flashed successfully you just need to move back and let me just unplug my OTG. Now you need to move into this wipe tab and firstly let me tell you that don't mess up anything with the advanced wipe section. Just simply click on this format data tab and type yes and it will start formatting the data. So after we have formatted the data successfully we just need to move into the reboot section and I'll recommend you to reboot into the recovery once before booting into the system. A few inches later. Now after rebooting into the recovery as you can see it has got replaced by the AOSP recovery cause we didn't flash the TWRP image after flashing the ROM. So anyways. Now we are good to reboot to the system and let's see if the ROM boots successfully or not. Now as you can see that our phone has finally booted into the Lineage OS and yes we are successful in flashing the ROM. So I hope you find this video helpful and I have also put the reference chart link for all the other devices in the description. So yes, this was the easiest method I told you to find and flash recovery and roam for your device. So if you enjoyed this video, make a sub right now. So goodbye and take care.